So Abigail, and then Alyssa as well, how did the experiences you gained as an intelligence officer help you in the business of both representing people and working with colleagues to achieve good in this big, ugly government we have? So I think that the skill set, right? So as a, as a case officer, the whole goal that you have is to look at an array of information, um, you know, learn from analysts, learn from reports officers, what are the questions that we still have about a particular issue? What do we know about a particular issue? And you have to learn a lot. You have to read the requirements and understand an issue because it's not just about going and asking questions that somebody you know, gives you. It's about looking at the requirements, what's known, what's not known about a particular topic, sitting down with someone when they mention a word or they mention a name, like having the recall to say, oh, actually, let me, let me go down that rabbit hole and collect information because you're trying to go back, write a report that will fill out information and inform people who are making good decisions. And so on the campaign trail, when talking about my experience and why I believed it to be relevant and now in the job talking about my experience and why I know it's relevant um, is that in Congress, we touch an array of issues. And a lot of colleagues will have a particular area of expertise and that's what they know. Well, in at CIA, you know, one day it's a nuclear program, another day it's a drug cartel, another day it's a you know person related to some important world leader, right? Like I don't know anything about any of those things, but I need to learn very quickly all of the things that are kind of known. Then I need to ask a ton of questions surrounding that issue. And I need to constantly be attuned to, well, if we're interested in answering this big question, what are the unknowns and the things we need to know? And so, you know, in my district, I have a very agricultural district um, and I serve on the agriculture committee. And I, prior to coming to Congress, I have no background in agriculture, um, but I have in, you know, when I'm touring farms in my district, like having zero background in this particular area, is, is actually fantastic for me because my whole CIA background is I'm supposed to walk in, like I'm supposed to read a lot, I'm supposed to adapt a bit of information, and then I ask 101 questions. Um, and so regardless of the issue related to policy, you know, I think I'm, it's a skill set to say, I know what I don't know, I'm gonna do my own research, and then I'm gonna dive right. deep to inform myself. And um, I think it's a valuable frame to be very comfortable mm -hmm. jumping into new topics regularly. Sure.